Hi friends, Hunter Fisher, Trapper Trader, Guide Scout and Interpreter and Country Cook Steve Hall here with another great recipe. Today I'm going to tell you about a scenario. Here you go hunting, Saturday morning. You get out in your deer stand, you hunt all day, you're tired, you come in, you cheat. You sleep in Sunday morning because you know the big game's on Sunday, football season. You got your chicken wings, you got your celery, and you go to the refrigerator and you buy this blue cheese dressing that is in a plastic bottle that you put on the shelf at the grocery store and you're going to squirt that out and ruin these delicious wings on that. It's not going to happen. I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious homemade blue cheese dressing. You'll love it on everything. Get your steaks out on the grill, your venison steaks, put blue cheese on top of them along with all your chicken wings for the big game. And here's how we do it. We need a one and a half cups of mayonnaise to start with. I make this stuff all the time. I absolutely love it. And I got to give credit where credit's due. I got this recipe from my sister-in-law, Yvonne, up there in Brainerd. And she knows how to make this stuff. When I ate this the first time, I flipped out. I made her, I made her give me the recipe. Now we've got to use about a half a teaspoon of sugar about a half a teaspoon of mustard, already prepared mustard, about an eighth of a teaspoon of vinegar. Now I use apple cider vinegar in just about everything. I just like the color for some reason. Just a pinch of salt, just a little bit of salt, and then I like quite a bit of pepper. Put some color in there. Kind of stir that up just a little bit. Here's what we got happening down in this little bowl. It looks good already and doesn't even have the blue cheese in there yet. This stuff is the best. Stop buying the little plastic bottles in the store. They're just nasty. So we're going to try to put our blue cheese in here right now and then we're going to blend it and we got two different types. I usually pick the kind that's in one big chunk. You can buy the crumbly kind comes in a little plastic tub and it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. But I look for the one that's all in one chunk because it just seems like it has better flavor deep down in there and it usually says cave cured or or you know something has been in a cave or something like that I don't know what that means but I'm gonna break these chunks up in there and pop it in just so the mixer has a little easier time with it get your fingers involved now here's your system do you like your blue cheese chunky or do you like it smooth? That's totally up to you and this little mixer right here. Now I like it chunky. Sheila likes it smooth, but she does love the homemade blue cheese dressing. She just don't like those big chunks of cheese when you bite into them. On the other hand, I do. I got to show you the color on this. It just has that beautiful, beautiful blue, yummy texture to it. It's absolutely fantastic. Now here's what you do. If you don't like it real chunky, add a little bit of heavy whipping cream to smooth it out. I'm going to put in just about a quarter cup. I'm going to make Sheila's blue cheese dressing today. Oh man. You wouldn't think that a person would devote an entire cooking segment to a dressing that you put on your salad. You mix this with French dressing and put it on your salad, it's outstanding. Put it on your steaks, and of course, in the hunting camp, football season, you plop this stuff down, and everybody's going to say, where did you buy that fantastic blue cheese dressing? And you tell them, I bought it at Steve's house, the guy that teaches you how to make gorgeous blue cheese dressing to have with your celery. Let me, let me grab one of these little chicken wing dudes here and drag him in there. Oh man, uh oh, there's the Packers beating the Vikings again. <laughs> that probably isn't going to go over very good up in Minnesota, but I had to say that. Try this. Hold on one second. Wow. Is this the most delicious blue cheese dressing you've ever ate in your entire life? If it ain't, it ought to be. This is Steve Hall saying, see you next time. Mmm. Got a double dip. There ain't nobody else here. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching Cooking with Shotgun Red. If you enjoy our recipes, become a subscriber to our cooking channel, and you'll be the first to know when a new recipe is posted. 
We'll see you next time, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. This is Shotgun Red saying thanks a lot.